It is time for one more Home and Garden Week celebration and segment. Now, we say this for the last one because it is awesome. We have Barefoot Chef Randy Arnold and also Eric Licata here from Barefoot Wines. And you are going to tell us a little bit about what you're doing this weekend and also teach us how to make some amazing drinks. So I want to start by sort of talking about this bottle here. This is your newest wine. So this is a big deal right now. Fantastic. We're really excited to offer our newest wine at the uh, Buffalo Home and Garden Show. It's called Barefoot Impression Red Blend, and it's dedicated to our souls of the year who are the founders of small nonprofits, and their pictures and stories appear on the back label. So we're celebrating people doing good with our blended red wine, and it's been a huge hit for us at home and garden shows across the country, so we're really excited to offer it here. And you know, what, what is this wine going to taste like? It's a, a dry red, so it has uh, Shiraz from Australia, uh, um, Malbec from Argentina, gr um, Grenache from Spain, and then Tempranillo from California. So there's a lot of great flavors in that wine. Yes. Now, I have to admit that I love the Barefoot Champagne. It was a huge hit my New Year's Eve celebration, and you're going to teach us how to make two incredibly different and incredibly delicious drinks. So let's start with this one right here. Absolutely. I'll actually start with this one, oh, and we'll go to this go one. Go right it's away. Okay. So we're going to make a little Luck of the Irish thing for us this weekend as we are St. Patty's Day. So we're going to use our Barefoot and Scott Espamonte bubbly. Um, in the shaker already I have a little Irish whiskey, whatever you'd like, and apple juice to shake it up so it's nice and cold. Pour it on in. Ingredients are on barefootwine.com and we have a Facebook and Twitter page. So just a little bit of each there. Get that you know, in. now when I hear mixing something with uh, champagne or something bubbly, I always think mimosas. So sure. you're saying you know you can think outside of that box. Absolutely. So the whole idea with our brand is having fun, and we have great products by themselves, but also has a nice little mix. You'll see it's a nice, nice little cocktail for the weekend. So I'll just finish off that in there, and then we're gonna top it off with barefoot Moscato Swamonti. Be a nice little drink for you and your friends this weekend. And it's definitely oh. refreshing when of you're out. Of course, at. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. The glass are overflowing. That's how a party should be, right? So, so now a we have smaller a smaller version of that. <laughs> we have a little bit of time left, so let's go over what's going uh, on in the middle. Sure. So that we have our red Moscato bubble. We're calling a red Moscato sipper. Look at this fizz going. It's great. You can put a little lemon <laughs> on there. Let that fix. Okay. So here's our new barefoot bubbly red Moscato. So we're gonna have this with a uh, pour that in there over ice with a little blueberry pomegranate juice, a little splash of ginger ale, and a little squeeze of lemon. And it's gonna be a nice little mix and nice refreshing, excuse me, uh, just a tasty little treat for your uh, And you weekend. know what, if you're waking up early on St. Patty's Day, you wanna start, you know, a little pre-parade drink. This seems like it's a wonderful uh, <laughs> breakfast drink. Very nice, colorful, and you know, it's gonna be tasty, so that's the best way about it. All right, well, thank you guys so much oh, for coming. Right, thank you, and Matt. Again, you can learn a little bit more at the Buffalo Home and Garden Show, which is happening this weekend at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center. Again, tickets can be found online or at the door. We're gonna head over to our Kitchen World Kitchen because I need to find what happens with this recipe.